What up, tubers? Zeltrax Millennium here, back with a brand new video review. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello, hey, YouTubers! Zeltrax Millennium here, and I'm finally here with a new Thundercats review. This time we're taking a look at the 4-inch li Lion-O and the 4-inch scale Wily Kit from the new Thundercats toy line. Now, I picked these up a while ago at my local Walmart for around 7 bucks, and I have to say that's a really good deal right off the bat. I'm, ho I'm planning to get all of the major Thundercats characters like Tigra, uh, Chitara, uh, Panthro, Wily Cat, and maybe Mumra, and I'm probably going to get his ever-living form. Who knows? But yeah, let's take a look at all these figures. Let's take a look at the smallest one, which is Wily Kit. Now, she is really, really cute. I gotta imagine that when I first saw them in their... When I first saw Wily Kit and Wily Cat in their Thundercats uniforms, I guess. I gotta imagine they were really cute looking. And just them doing those purr things was just all so cute. And I cannot believe that Lionel just shrugged them off. How can you ignore that? Anywho, but yeah, the sculpt is actually very nice. I mean, there's a, there's the obvious Tiger Thunderlinks thing right on her butt, and over, overall the mold is actually very nice. Uh, the, the hair is nicely painted, the orange and purple very nicely done. Thundercats logo right there. It's just all around nice. Okay, the articulation for Wily Kit here is not so great, but it's still okay. Arms go full 360. Let me just demonstrate that on the other arm. Her head can go a full 360, but it's a little tough. And that's about it. The legs don't really move, which kind of sucks. She also has a little accessory, which is her flute ring thing, which can just clip on there. Though it, does, though it is a little bit loose. It is a bit loose once you get it in there, but once you fiddle around with it, she can't actually hold it very well. And, uh, her other main accessory is this little skateboard thing. Now, you can obviously on the camera that it's of two different plastics. Like, this one's an orange, this one's more of a pink. So, yeah, it's a nice little skateboard. I mean, I can obviously see Marty McFly using this thing, but, yeah. By pushing uh, this little piece where the Thundercats logo might go, you can push that forward and pull these out for a battle mode. I don't know if Wily Kit and Wily Cat ever use these skateboards or where they ever appear in the show, but I will be highly surprised if they do use them. So yeah, thanks to a little hole in her tail, Wily Kit can just clang on there. So yeah, there's that. Now let's take a look at lion -O. Now this lion -O figure is really, really cool, and I can't believe he was voiced by Will Friedle, a.k.a. Ron Stoppable from Kim Possible. So yeah, um, the sculpt is very nice looking. The coloring's all correct. The head sculpt is actually really nice looking. I really like it. Um, the, the turquoise, the dark turquoise here, the silver, brown, and light tan. The red they used for his hair. It's just all very nice looking. Now, the articulation is really good, but some of it is a little bit hindered. This arm is fine. You can go up and down, full 360, bends at the elbow at one joint, sadly, twists right here. Now, the reason why I say it's hindered is because, because of this huge shoulder pad right here. You can only go up to that bar. You can force it for full 360 like this, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to break it. So, yeah. It also has a 360 waist. Um, on my copy, at least, his uh, thigh swivel is a little loose on this side, but on this side, it's a it's a little it's a little tighter. 
So there's that. It's got a universal hip, so you can go forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee, and his ankle can even pivot, which is very nice articulation. Now, in terms of accessories that Lino comes with, he comes with the little bit of Norm. He has the Sword of Omens closed up, which is a very small thing. Um, you can't see it on the camera unless I turn it off in order to refocus, but you can see a little Eye of Thundera right there, which is very cool. And you can also hold the little Sword of Omens. However, it fits really loosely in his hand. So, I would normally leave it in the next accessory, which is the Claw Shield. The Claw Shield is really nice looking. You got the five claws, you got the little hole there, which there's actually an indentation where you can take the small Sword of Omens and just plop it right in there, which is very cool. I like it. And it can also go onto Lionel's arm. Now, I would really like it if the if the claw shield is actually another accessory, like another forearm piece right here, because it it's very easy to take it off and it's just not very good. I just wish it was another accessory in terms of another arm or anyway. Yeah, it also comes with the larger sword of omens, which is very long and nicely opened up. So that way you can do the sight beyond sight or something like that. You can also hold the giant sword of omens, but like the small sword, it is a little bit loose in his hand. But, oh, well, I guess I got it to fit. So, yeah, I really do like the new Thundercats toy line. And also, the uh, the head articulation for this thing is kind of moot. He can go like that, but once you try and move it the other way, his head pops off the ball joint. So, yeah, not recommended. So yeah, I really do like the Thundercats toy line. It looks really good. I'm actually interested in picking up the Thunder Tank. So, yeah. Uh, Zeltrax Millennium saying good night and good luck. And these toys are highly recommended. So yeah. Later.